when the Drug Enforcement Administration rejected a petition to loosen restrictions on cannabis recently, there was something of a hue and cry from advocates for more research and for legalization who say the decision not only makes no scientific sense, but will negatively impact their efforts and discourage what could be a multi-billion dollar industry. The biggest objection is to the agencies keeping cannabis as a Schedule One drug. Drugs that are Schedule One include things like uh, PCP and LSD and heroin. Uh, so marijuana is essentially still in that same category, which in the eyes of the government, the government is saying and the DEA is saying with a straight face that marijuana is a less therapeutic, more dangerous drug than even cocaine and Oxycontin, which are both in Schedule Two. Schedule Two means that the drug does have therapeutic use and that there is an adequate level of safety that it can be responsibly prescribed by physicians. Like for, say, a medical marijuana program, which almost 40 states, including New Jersey, now have in one form or another. Critics of the DEA say that the difference between Schedule I and Schedule II is significant. Marijuana has demonstrated uh, real use uh, in certain uh, conditions such as chemotherapy induced nausea, there really can be no doubt about its therapeutic potential and the fact that it is a non lethal, uh, medically beneficial drug. Despite all the states moving to legalize recreational use of cannabis and its generally wide social acceptance, it can sometimes seem like the DEA's thinking is from another era. Marijuana is an intoxicating, mind muddling drug. Its use can lead to abnormal behavior, to psychological dependence, and to abuse of other drugs. The human brain, after all, is made for thinking, not fumigating. I can't answer that. I can tell you that uh, for some reason they still allow Percocet and Oxycodone to be scheduled at a lower level in terms of danger than marijuana is. And that is just mind-blowing to consider that when everyone seems to know, every study seems to show that the use of these types of legalized drugs are driving the heroin epidemic, which is killing our people. But the DEA says its decisions aren't based on what lawmakers or you may find socially acceptable. Anything the DEA does or is empowered to do or is, is authorized to do is contained within the Controlled Substances Act. So our guiding principles are uh, science and the law. But the law, says Senator Cory Booker, needs to change. Booker's been vocal about the need to modernize the law and recently testified before a Senate subcommittee about a bill he's co-sponsoring. The bill would, among other provisions, lift barriers on mar marijuana treatment for pa patients and families. Under current law, our veterans are banned from getting uh, the medical treatment they so desperately need to relieve their pain, even if they're in states that allow medical marijuana. But the DEA says you shouldn't think they're trying to stifle research into the potential benefits of cannabis. In fact, they contend their ruling will mean more research in that area. We implemented a, a historic and monumental policy change. We have agreed to accept applications for additional growers of marijuana, bulk manufacturers of marijuana, to end the almost 50-year government monopoly on the marijuana uh, supply for research-grade material. Which is good news for scientists and recreational users alike because the more science can tell us about the effects of cannabis, the more informed advocates and lawmakers will be when they try to get voters to buy into the concept of legalizing it. In Newark, I'm David Cruz, and JTV News.